Hello and welcome to this video. It's only um, 6.45 in the morning and it's snowing outside and so I'm filming in this what we call a mudroom so the lighting is not as good as it might normally be. It's probably not all that great to begin with but my wife is still sleeping and my son's still sleeping. Um, if you've watched this channel for very long at all, probably. You'll have noticed that I have my own style for clothing and presenting myself. And it's primarily based on freedom. What, what I like, I want to wear. And I don't want to worry about if it looks good or if it fits what culture thinks I should wear, etc. Um, if you have more questions about that, totally feel free to ask. People often ask me questions like that in the comments, like why are your nails painted and stuff like that. Especially when the questions are respectful and stuff like that. Um, I really, well, at, at any time I don't mind talking about it or answering questions because it's actually really interesting to me. Um, the idea that so few people do hardly anything unique with their expression. Anyway, um, uh, I, I could just talk about that for a long time. The point is, I'm making a, a skirt for myself. And um, I sort of drew up a bit of what my plan is. Um, I'll be making, a, a, there'll be like a front panel, two side panels, and then like a back section represented by these lines here that's made from pleats and it's very 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 loosely <laughs> inspired by like old-timey skirts um, that had like a lot of pleats in the back and by old-timey I mean like I don't know like 1800s or something I'm really having fun trying to learn about that stuff but I'm not like being very thorough about it um and there's like think about 1800s that's 100 years that's a long time of fashion changing quickly anyway i'm using this uh fabric it's an old bed sheet but i think it'll be fun to i like the color of it and i have it and i think it'll be enough material so that's my plan i'm thinking about maybe making a paper Sorry, a paper uh, pattern, and then laying it out on the fabric so that I know my fabric usage is good. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Let's get started. I decided to baste together the seams of the front panel and the two side panels. And so for that, I just used this running stitch um, I did kind of anchor it at the end, but that's easy to cut when I need to undo it. I kind of tried it on by just wrapping it around myself to see where the pattern was a little bit off. And then I used chalk to kind of mark the two spots that I didn't like the shape of it. So um, I then, since I just basted it together, it was really easy to cut it out and unpick it. If you just use a continuous running stitch, it actually can be kind of fun pulling the thread out. Um, it is kind of a lot of work. I mean, not that much work, but work that just gets undone immediately. But it's sort of like unraveling a, a sweater that you knitted or something. So I held the fabric up against the wall so that it would hang straight and then I could draw a straight line between the two points that I needed and then I would stitch along that line. It seemed to work pretty well. When I was happy with the the basting I just machine sewed right next to my basting seam. I decided to use this light blue fabric which also used to be a bed sheet to um, make a waistband and then I also use it as a hem. 
So I just tear out sheets. That's kind of my favorite way to um, cut fabric if I need a straight line, is just cut a sl uh, notch and then just tear it. So I didn't, so just to you, I didn't have, a, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I tried to conserve fabric so I just sewed pieces together to make one long strip. I thought it would be fun to use a contrasting thread, so I'm using this, um, I don't know what you call that, kind of a turquoise blue, but uh, it turned out really nice, I like it. Next, I just top stitched the waistband on, and then you could see that fabric, or that uh, contrasting thread quite nicely. I thought of a really fun way to keep track of all of the pins that I use, and it's this magnet. Uh, it's a really handy way for me to keep them from falling all over the place when I'm sewing. I'm here down in my basement. Hopefully the it's not too dark, but um, I just finished the hem, and uh, one thing I thought was, I watched a YouTube video from this lady, Abby Cox, who does historical costuming. And she was saying on a lot of the gowns that she owns that are from a long time ago, they put a band on the bottom. And she said that it was really thick, like a lot of layers of fabric and stuff. And I realized halfway through my process, I was kind of doing that. So I just went and kind of like leaned into it more. So this is seven layers thick right here. And she was saying how it helps give the hem shape and body, I think. And it really does all show it in a sec. But um, the other thing is I pleated out the back. And uh, this, I think it's the right, takes up the right amount of space, but I'll, have to try it on um, so I'll, I think what I'm gonna do is put a button here and then a loop here and a loop here and then sew all these pleats down except right here leave those open so then you can open it and get inside then close the button I need to try it on just to be sure before I sew these down when I sew them, I'll probably do them by hand like I would, would a kilt. Like do a filling stitch along the seam here on the inside and out. Um, although I wouldn't do it on the inside in a kilt. Anyway, if you want to know about kilt making, I have videos for that. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. But I thought it looked cool, that pleating. And then this hem of the skirt looks cool too. Uh, and I'm glad it worked out the way it did. It really made makes the line look a lot better. So. so here's the final version. I quickly sewed up a bow and attached it to the right hip. It's actually just attached with a button so it's removable. And it can be um, placed on the button that's in the back if I wanted to wear it in the back. Um, I like the way it fits. I like the way it feels. This is the first time I've had a skirt that's long like this and shaped like this. Um, and it's comfortable and, um, you know, easy to wear, I guess. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe and consider checking out some of my other videos. Bye!